Hello, hello. In today's Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a border to an image. Um, this is quite straightforward. I'm using one of Mrs. Cog's gorgeous um, bird children images to do this because I think it will be a really easy image for you to see what we're doing with. And um, I've already gone ahead and unlocked my layer. Now, I don't want to work directly onto my image because I might change my mind later, I might not want a border. So I'm going to come down to this little tab that looks like a post-it note with the corner turned up and I am going to add a blank layer as you can see. It's just titled it layer one and we need to make sure that we have that layer highlighted. I'm going to go across here to my rectangular <clears throat> marquee tool and select that. Now I am going to click and drag a border around my image that I want to add the line around. Now the easiest way to move this around once you've got your marching ants is the up and down and side to side arrow keys and you can line your um, selection up quite easily using those keys. Once I'm happy with where my, um, my marching ants are, I'm going to go up to edit and then I'm going to come down to stroke. Now, um, this is the second time I've done this video, but I kept getting... The width or the size of your line is based in pixels. Now, this is a fairly small image. It's um, There are, I think, maybe six or eight on this page, and I've just selected one. So we don't want our line to be too big it will overpower the image, but you can play around with this. I have changed this to five pixels. My standard is 10 if I'm doing a full page. If you click on color, this is where you can decide on what color line you want. Now I'm going for a fairly um, neutral gray and I'm gonna hit okay. You've got a choice of where you put your line. This is more important if you're using a really large image that you're going to print. Um, I tend to leave it in the centre. Um, it really does depend on um, the image you're printing. For an image this size, centre is fine. It really isn't going to matter. If I'm printing a really, really large image, um, then I might go for inside. But at the moment, centre is fine. I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, you can already tell we've got our grey line around our image. To get rid of your marching ants, you control or command D to dismiss them. And there we have our grey line, or our stroke line. Now, we've got two layers here now. If I, if I go to File and Save As, and save this as a JPEG, these images um, will merge and become one. You won't be able to open this image and edit it again. You won't be able to take that stroke line off. Um, as you can see, because it's on a separate layer at the moment, we can remove it. If you've got lots and lots of layers in your layers panel and some of them you are absolutely happy with, you know you're not going to want to change them, you can flatten them without saving this as a JPEG. And what you would do is you can um, either hit the shift key, which will select multiple images if you hit the top and the bottom one, or you can hit the command or control key to just select two or three layers, maybe you've got five, six, seven layers open. So. To flatten these down, what you do is you go to layers at the top, scroll right down to the bottom, and you've got three options. Now, um, flatten image will flatten all of your layers into one layer, which is the same as what would a JPEG, saving as a JPEG would do. Merge visible will flatten all of the layers that you have the eyes on and we're going to merge layers, which are any layers you've selected. If, I, if you watch the layers panel, panel as I hit merge layers, you can see that has now become one layer, and we can't take that stroke line off once we've done that. At the moment we can, we can go to edit and step backwards, or edit and undo merge layers. Either of those will undo our last action. So at the moment we've still got those layers. If you save it as a Photoshop document, you'll keep these two layers. If you save it as a JPEG, JPEG, it will flatten them and they'll become one layer. But that's how you'd need to do it to print. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a vignette to an old photograph. I will speak to you soon.
Thanks. Bye.